Hey, greetings. Uh, this is Dwayne, CFRN. Time for a concierge trade alert recap. Today is Tuesday, 10th day of November, 2015. Time now, uh, 6.35 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to get this recap out of the way so I can get the concierge trade alerts done for tonight and in the wind. Okay, you ready? Let's do this thing. Now, this recap video will appear, as all our videos do, here on our Google Plus page. If you ever have trouble finding it, just Google eMini Google Plus Community. It's got this long, gnarly URL. I'm going to fix that uh, someday, but I don't have time right this minute. I just want to do the recap. Last night on the S&P 500 E-mini futures, when the email went out to all of our clients, we gave very explicit instructions. Be long above 2084, that's 2084 and a quarter, or be short below 2068.75. It's very explicit information to the tick. There's nothing ambiguous or nebulous about what we do. We give you exact entries to the tick, hard stops to the tick, targets to the tick. Now, beyond the initial target, of course, you can trail your stop if you're using multiple contracts. You can trail to your heart's content or the market comes back and stops you out with profit, which is a good thing. Here's how it went down today with the S&P. We triggered the 4 a.m. hour Eastern. The first move down was good for two and three quarter points. Second trade was good for three and a half points. See, important prices, important areas are almost always tested. And so when price gets back above the trigger, bang. Back above the trigger, bang. Third trade, good for two points. Uh, the next trade, good for four and a half points. The next trade, good for two and a quarter points. You might also notice that price, even though we're still using last week's zones, okay, partners got this week's zones Monday morning at 6.30, 6.15 a.m. Eastern. They stay the same all week. They don't change. We don't massage them, manipulate them. We've been publishing the zone since December 9th of 20, I'm sorry, December 14th of 2009. We're coming up on our six-year anniversary of the weekly trading zones. Now, have they been doing this since their inception, going from zone to zone to zone to zone to zone, back to the zone, down to the zone, up, to, yep, mm-hmm. Gee, it almost seems like you could just trade that. Some people do. Okay. All right. Now, this is a historic chart. Of course, anybody can look like a genius with a historic chart. So anytime somebody shows you a historic chart, just remember, anybody can look like a genius with a historic chart. Now, one thing that is a little different is these prices, okay, this really did get sent out to our clients and partners last night at 8.15 Eastern. So this isn't calling something after the fact. This isn't saying, yeah, well, we thought this was a pretty good area to get short. No, no, no. No, we said specifically to the tick where to get short. All of our partners know we use an eight tick hard stop. Unless you've graduated and advanced and you're hunting bigger game, maybe you use a bigger stop. But if you're working the 2420 blueprint, Eight tick hard stop on every market, except bonds, we only risk four because they pay thirty-one twenty-five per tick, and that's a lot. So uh, the S&P was just fantastic. Great day for the S&P. Uh, we're very blessed. Bonds. Bonds, we had an alert last night that said to consider being long. ZBZ5 above one. 
Now, the swing high, this is 152.22 right here. One fifty two. However, as you know, we even though we have an alert at one fifty two twenty two, the alert says to consider being long above. So what is above? Above is one tick higher. So if you'll notice, if you look right, follow my cursor, the horizontal line of my cursor. See how it says one fifty two twenty three. Now the swing high of this move, 152.28. So from 23 to 28 is five ticks at 31.25 per tick. So 31.25 times five equals $156 per contract. How many contracts could a person trade if they wanted to be a professional bond trader? Have you ever wondered about that? Wonder no more. In the hour that triggered, okay, there were 25,046 contracts traded. Now, I just said that that little five tick move on one contract was worth $156, okay? So obviously, if, you're, if you've worked your way up to 10 contracts, now we don't, we don't jump from one to three to five or any of that, we go one. First, you gotta qualify in SIM to even go live if you're gonna train with us. You have to qualify before you can even trade real money. That's how serious we are about treating this like a business, okay? This is not a weekend junket to Vegas. We're not gambling here. This is how we earn a living. So, at 31.25 per tick, five ticks, $156. If you've earned your way up to the rank of 10 contract trader, that's 1,500 bucks. If you've worked your way up to the rank of 20 contract trader, well, that would be $3,000 gross before commissions. Trading is risky. You can lose all of your money and then some. It's not suitable for all people. You should consult with a licensed investment professional before making any investment decision okay let's move on from bonds and go to crude oil consider being long above 44.50 short below 43.90 on the long side there's a 26 tick move, an 11 tick move, a 17 tick move, 26, let me get below and go 11. What is this? Oh, that's the 11. Oh, I see. So that high is 71. So we got an we got an eleven. And we got a twenty-one. Okay. Alright. On the short side, the first move was eight ticks, second move was thirty-three ticks, and the third move I never measured. was 55 to 90. So 50 to 90 would be 40. So that's 35. Crude oil pays $10 per tick. 
So a 35 tick move is worth $350 per contract. That's if you get out at the exact swing low. Chances are you didn't. Why? She didn't know that was going to be the exact swing low. Now, could you trail a stop and get some of that? Maybe even most of that? Yes. That's what we're going to teach you when you become a partner. Okay? This is from yesterday over here. Okay? That's yesterday. This is today. These are the concierge trade alerts. These are not the one trade a days. These are the concierge trade alerts. Now, concierge trade alerts are issued at night. The one trade a day is issued in the morning. What's the difference? I'll tell you. The concierge trade alerts go out during the Asian Open, which tends to be pretty quiet. Okay. The London Open can be pretty active. The Wall Street Open we know is quite active. The 10 a.m. Eastern economic releases can change the direction of the market for the day. So the concierge trade alerts give you our best possible entry long and short for eight different markets. The one trade a day gives you our best possible entry long and short for eight different markets but from a different perspective. We've already had the London Open the markets have had a chance to digest that. Wall Street open, they rang the bell, more digestion. 10 a.m. economic news release, more digestion. If there's going to be a major reversal for the morning, it's typically happened by that time and is underway. And then at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, on the dot, to the best of my ability, they're published. Also, the di another difference is the concierge trade alerts are emailed at the moment, whereas the one trade a days are published to a super secret website. Each page, each market is password protected. So if you subscribe to two markets, you'll have passwords for those markets. If you subscribe to all eight markets, you'll have passwords for all eight markets. There may come a time when the concierge trade alerts are published in a similar manner. So right now we're doing two different things. We've been doing for over a year now. We email out the concierge trade alerts at night. But this new edition, this new product, the one trade a day, it's called that because you only need one good trade a day and you're done for the day. Okay. If you don't want to be tied to the screen, in fact, you don't even have to place the trade yourself. Contact your broker. I'm sure that your broker will be more than happy to place the trades on your behalf. Now, please hear me out. In order to get your hands on the one trade a day, you were required to fill out an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. I didn't go real heavy-handed with the legal language about we're coming after your firstborn if you violate the NDA. But I want you to know that from a legal standpoint, we take that very seriously. Okay? And I'm sure someone's going to challenge it. Someone's going to test the water. And they're going to find out that this dog still has teeth and that there's more bite than bark. Okay? So please, do the right thing. You're not stealing from some faceless company. You're stealing from your fellow brothers and sisters. Think about it. It's not worth it. It's so affordable. If you want it, just do the right thing. All right? Let's leave it at that. 26, 21, 11, 17, 8, 33, 35. I mean, there's so much to go around. 
Why would we even want to mess with our karma or our sowing and reaping by doing something that it's one of the big ten, thou shall not steal. Uh, it made the list for a reason. It's pretty important. Okay, let's go to the euro. Last night on the euro, the alert said, consider being short below 107.45. We dropped 66 ticks times 1250 per tick per contract. So if you go 66 times 1250, that gives you $825 per contract. That's what this trigger and this move was worth. Now, over here, you see this guy? That's a three-tick trigger in the wrong direction that led to a stop out. At four ticks, if you're trading the blueprint, we move our stop to break even. But when price doesn't move four ticks, you get stopped out. Okay, That's the truth about trading. If you have not read the article, please do. You should be able to Google the truth about e-mini trading. If that doesn't work, the truth about trading at a hard stop, that'll do it. You really owe it to yourself to read it. Okay, Now, look at this. Important prices, important areas, almost always tested. You see what's happening here? Now, I'm getting ready to send out the new alerts. So, by the time you watch this video, you won't have another opportunity to take this trade. But if we were in the middle of a trading day, you would be getting prepared to potentially go short this market again at 107.45 if you didn't already have your points for the day. There was a WASDI report today. That's the granddaddy of agricultural reports. And as you can see, soybeans fell pretty hard. We had a big bean number down at 844. We didn't hit it, so the big bean number is still intact. What did happen, our alert to be short 864, there's two points, another two points, and then there was this, but see, we're not going to count this because we don't believe in trading in front of big economic reports. So we would be flat this. This was an eight tick stop out, followed by eight ticks plus, followed by eight ticks plus. So again, with the soybeans, uh, an eight tick stop out. And then two, eight tick, back to back. Thank you, ma'ams. And then this was the WASDI report, so we don't trade in front of those types of reports. Uh, just in passing, I'll mention that on the radio show yesterday, we did put out a trade for the public. If you like to trade the dollar and you fancy yourself as a maybe a position trader or swing trader, or you want to learn how to be a multi-day type of trader, I have made a trade available. What we're looking for price to do is to pull back into this support area. And then as price launches out of this area of support, we're going to go long on a stop at 98.81. Long above 98.80 means buy 98.81 on a stop. Again, trading is risky. You could lose all of your money and then some. Okay? Always use a hard stop. And keep in mind that even a hard stop can get jumped in a fast market. That's why you never keep more money in your account than you actually need for the purpose of trading the number of contracts you're currently trading. I will, as part of your training, if you should decide to become a partner, I'll teach you how to protect your assets, okay? All right. 
Moving right along, we already did crude oil, the Dow. All right. Last night on the Dow, we said to consider being long YMZ above 17,700 and short below 17,645. 21 points. Now the Dow, it's $5 a point. They don't do ticks. It's just points and it's five bucks a point. So if you're trading the blueprint, you need to make 20 points so that you make your $100 per contract per day. There's 21 points, there's 19 points, there's 13 points. On the short side, there's 32 points, there's 30 points, there's 14 points, there's 35 points, and there's 21 points. How many do you need? Just 20. Was there ample opportunity to get... Oh my goodness, I didn't even see all this. Well, see, I did this recap during the radio show today, so... I'm just taking a few moments now before I do tonight's alerts to recap this for the benefit of everyone that wasn't able to make it to the show and so that you don't have to wade through the entire radio show if you don't want to. Because um, I usually get some of the markets recapped before David comes on and then I finish up after he comes on. All right, and so this one got up to 723. So that's going to be 23 points. All right. Important prices, important areas are almost always tested. Yes. And so this one got up to 24. And this one got up to 11. So there's a 24 and 11. Now, if you're new, you're probably going, well, man, why are you leaving all that money on the table? Well, it's sort of beyond the scope of this recap video to explain our full belief system on all that. However, if you become a partner, even if you come take the trial, I'll spend some time with you in a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session, and I'll, I'll try to help you understand why we believe in setting a goal and sticking to it. In fact, in a mentoring session today, I shared this with someone. Just Google this. Goals for e-mini traders. Okay? You can actually take this now it's going to be one, two, it's going to be the fourth one down. You got a couple of ads and then the first right here. Four critical goal setting tips for e-mini traders. You can take this little manifesto and apply it to your marriage, uh, your parenting, your boss ship, your employee ship, what, whatever you got going on in your life. Uh, goals are huge. You know, it says right up here at the top of the page, far better than I could say it. People with goals succeed because they know where they are going. It's as simple as that. Earl Nightingale. People with goals succeed because they know where they're going. It's as simple as that. I love that. I think it would really help you. You know, whether you become a partner and come trade with us full time, you know, that's that's to be decided down the road. Uh, if you're already with us, that's part of your uh, package that you get that helps you write your blueprint, uh, your business, not your blueprint, but your business plan and your trading plan. Those are critical. Now, I'm just going to say this. If you're a partner... And if you've been with us more than a month and you've not completed your business plan and your trading plan, and maybe you don't have the results you wish you had, why don't you start with the first thing we ask you to do? Everybody wants to click the mouse. Everybody wants to make some money. But I'm amazed that people don't want to do the work. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll get to that later. Really? How successful would a Subwise 
Subway's, <laughs> Subway franchisee be if he decided to write the rules after he sold a bunch of sandwiches? If you go buy a Subway, a Subway, <laughs> Subway, I'll never say it right again now. If you were to go out and had the wherewithal, the money, the 150 grand, to become a Subway sandwich franchisee owner, uh, you can get in for like 100 grand in some cities, some areas, 150 grand. But imagine that they come out, you've selected your location, they bring you this, all these manuals, right, that, that teach you how to run the business and how to operate the food service side. See, there's the business side and the food service side. And if, what if you looked at the guy and says, yeah, I just put those in the back office. I'm going to sell some sandwiches. I'm going to make some money. And, and you know, I'll get around to those. <laughs> They'd revoke your franchise so quick. Because you can't be out there representing them in that way. No, it's got to be by the book. Now, if you're going to succeed as a trader, it's got to be by the book. But not my book, your book. You write the book. You write the business plan. You write the trading plan. We give you the information that you need. In other words, a good business plan will contain this, 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 and this. A good trading plan will contain this, 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 and this. But you, by your own hand, you write the rules that you're going to follow. Okay. The 2420 blueprint, you don't have to touch that. That is written. That is simply to be followed. Your business plan and your trading plan embrace the blueprint. Okay? All right. So we covered crude oil. What do we got left? Um, we covered the Dow. That's what we just finished up, the Dow. Uh, the Russell. Okay, this is very busy because I did a lot of uh, work last night. This looks like one of those bottles, uh, what is it, Mrs. Bronner's or Mr. Bronner? You remember those yellow amino acid, tastes like soy sauce almost, but it's very healthy and it's good for you. It's an amino acid kind of thing and you put it on your brown rice and, uh, and, and this yellow label on the bottle, they cover every square inch with writing. Some of it goes sideways and you know, upside down. It's pretty wild. I guess you had to be there. Anyway, <laughs> the alert last night for the Russell, not the one trade a day from yesterday, not the alerts from yesterday. I mean, look how much the Russell has just been on fire this week. So last night on the Russell, concierge trade alert said long above 81, short below 74. Okay. Here's 81, here's 74. 74 got you stopped out. But the 81, now if you caught this first move, it ran 22 Returning points, visit. which, I'm sorry, 22 ticks. It ran 2.2 points, there's 10 ticks to a point, so it ran 22 ticks. It's $220 per contract. The next one ran 14 ticks. The next one ran 24. And then after I ended the show today, I suppose, this last one went all the way up to 1187.90. So from 1181, I better write that down. Alert 1181. 1181. Okay. So from 1181, swing high is 8790. So that's 69 ticks. That's $690 per contract. Per contract potential. Okay. 
$690 per contract potential. That's this move right here from here to here. Nobody gets out of the swing high, though, do they? No, they don't. You get stopped out somewhere along the way. Now, let's look at this candle, the one that triggered the, fi that triggered the final trade of the day. How many contracts were in this candle? 6,744. You think it could handle you trading 10 contracts? You think it could handle you trading 20 contracts? Take that number times 20. It's $13,000 and change. Trading is risky. You can lose all of your money and then some. Hard stops can get jumped in a fast-moving market. You should consult with a licensed investment professional before making any investment decision. We give you these numbers every night to the tick. Now, if you want to be a concierge client, it's going to cost you $14.95 a quarter. That's six grand a year, but if you take the annual rate, and I encourage you to take the annual rate because it'll save you five, it'll save you a thousand dollars instead of paying fourteen ninety five a quarter, which comes out to be fifty nine ninety seven a year, six grand. We save you one thousand dollars, forty nine ninety seven. Okay my opinion in the world of trading no better deal other than becoming a partner which when you become a partner see that's when you learn how to trade okay there's more to trading than just knowing a number now did having did knowing that buying 1181 on a stop was a really good thing today did that help you sure but Understanding the markets, knowing how to read a chart. You can't put a price on that, <laughs> but we did. We did put a price on it, and it's about half. It's half what some guys charge. I live in a moderately upscale neighborhood. My windows are open because the weather's beautiful. I'm overlooking South Mountain park which is the largest city park in america larger even than central park and my peace my sanctity was just disturbed by a low rider going by playing foul rap music at a, at a high volume and i'm bothered by that does that make me an elitist no it makes me someone who enjoys the beautiful view I have with the windows open. There's, we don't get this in Phoenix a lot. This is, a, this is like a special time. This is almost like a holy time for us, you know, festival of coolness. And um, look at it. And, and, and it's just, it's almost dusk. And at the base of the mountain, there are homes right at the base of the mountain well, I'm going to tell you what, at the height of the housing boom, some of them were a million bucks. And when the market crashed, savvy folks snapped them up for 400000 They're more than halfway back to that million dollar price tag now. But as in just a few minutes, as the sun drops in the west, you'll start to see the little lights on the homes. They'll start to sparkle like diamonds in the desert. Uh, it's really beautiful. If you've not been to Arizona, I know everybody just pictures it as some hell hole where it's 120 degrees all the time. It's not. <laughs> Most of the time it is. But uh, let me get my handy-dandy iPhone app out. And it's 68 degrees right now. It's going to get down to 45 tonight. 
And for us, that's cold <laughs> because there is so much 110, 120 throughout the summer. Our blood gets thin. And so these cool nights, but they're beautiful. I mean, 45 degrees, you guys are still wearing Bermuda shorts. We're throwing a log on the fire. So anyway, pack to work. Gold. That We only got one market left. Gold. No trigger. Two days in a row. Gold. Long above 1096. Short below 1083. 96. Nope. 83. Nope. I talked to you yesterday about consolidation, about coiling. You can think of a spring coiling or a rattlesnake coiling up before he strikes. This thing's going to strike. And whether it strikes north or south, follow along. We will do our very best to take advantage of that move, whichever direction it moves. Because as biased as we are, and as convinced as I am which direction this market is going to pounce in, spring in, rally in, or to, I better say decline in, or you'll think you caught me there. Okay, no matter how convinced I am, which direction I think this market is going to make a striking move in, okay? It would be a great disservice to be so egotistical as to think I couldn't be wrong. So tonight, I'm going to do my math. I'm going to give you my very best trade in the direction I think it's going to go. Then I'm going to give you the very best entry in the direction I don't think it's going to go. You get my best work either way. So I think you should really consider becoming a partner and a concierge client. And I think you should pick up the one trade a day. This has not yet been announced. You're hearing this for the first time. It was not announced on live radio today. This is the first through the end of the week, okay? I'm not giving you the bum rush, send your money by midnight tonight and we get it sooner. All right, I'm not going to do that to you. I don't know that we'll ever repeat this offer again. We might, but I don't think so. I mean, we're still, people are coming in droves to be a part of the one trade a day. So that's awesome. But we want this introductory special to touch as many lives as possible. And so we're just blessed. Life's good. And we're so thankful. And we're humbled. And we want to give back. And we want to make sure that everybody who wants to participate can participate. And so through the end of the week, we are going to put together a package. Now, Michael has been kind enough to shoulder the responsibility of taking care of the accounting and the payments and all of that stuff to free me up to do some of the other things that, that I have to do, okay? I don't know that this will be repeated, but for one money, one money, you can become a CFRN partner you can receive the concierge trade alerts and the one trade a day. Not only will you learn how to trade, but you'll be able to earn while you learn. My friend, I wish somebody had offered me something reasonable like that when I first started, it would have saved me years of agony. And I'm going to tell you something, the financial distress that I went through in the beginning pales in comparison to the emotional scars I was left with. 
Much of it was self-inflicted, okay? I've been through it. Michael's been through it. We've been through it together. We have the knowledge. We have the tools. The heavy lifting has already been done. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Come let us help you. Now, do we believe that if you come with an open mind and open arms and embrace everything that we have to show you and teach you, that if you actually do the work, unlike the people who haven't even written their business plan or their trading plan, if you really come at this thing with all that you can muster, I believe that you can outshine Michael and I all day long. Why? Because you won't have the emotional baggage. You won't have the emotional or the psychological scars that he and I have. Now, you may be a trader with a limp already. You may already have some baggage and some scars. Well, you're in good company, okay? We know how to help you get from where you've been to where you want to be. If you're brand new, if you don't know a trend line from a candlestick wick, that's okay. We have something in place that will take you from where you are to where you want to be. If you want to take advantage of that special, if you want to become a partner, receive the concierge trade alerts, and take part in the one trade a day, send an email to support at cfrn.net in the subject line, special offer please. And in the body, send info. That's it. Send an email to support at cfrn.net. The subject line, special offer. In the body of the email, send me the info. All right? Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much. And I do hope to see each and every one of you tomorrow morning in the live trading room. Take care.